Hello, I'm Bianca from WorldCode and today I'm going to talk about what you're going to do if you don't know the solution to a problem that you're trying to solve. First of all, I want to point out that it's not a tragedy if you don't know it, it's normal. You don't have to stress about it, you don't have to have your face red and stuff like that, start sweating, it's normal. We do that all the time, we don't know how to solve problems, but then we have a method that we're using to find the solution that we need. In the first place, you're gonna have to make really sure that you understood the problem. A lot of times uh, when you read a problem, you think you know what, what it's trying to uh, make you do, but in fact you don't understand the uh, statement and that makes you, I don't know, think about every other things other than the solution to, pro to the problem. So uh, first make sure that you understand what the problem is about and if it's not a problem sta statement but the problem you are trying to solve, make sure it's very clear, your, the goal is very clear in your mind. Well, let's say you're in an interview and they ask you to implement a game of Tetris. Now that's really interesting but it, there's a lot of different ways to implement a game of Tetris. First of all, it can be black and white or it can be colorful so you have to make sure that all the pieces have a different color or you may have different uh, types of pieces apart, uh, in contrast to just having one type of piece, like a square. The pieces can turn, they can uh, rotate or not, and so on. There are so many variations. And if you get stuck on rotating a piece when you in fact don't have to rotate the piece, it's very nasty, like you're gonna lose a lot of time on that. So make sure you understand what is required of you. Okay, now you understood the statement. Now you understood the problem, you understood what you have to do. Uh, how do you do it? In the game of Tetris, uh, this is a more complex problem. In your first attempts, you're not going to solve a problem that's that complex, but let's stick with that. So if you have the game of Tetris, you're not going to start by solving all of it. You're going to try to split it into sub-problems like, I don't know, how do I store a piece? How do I know which, what shape a piece is? How do I make the pieces move? Like maybe each second the piece moves one slot down and then when one piece has reached the bottom, you have to memorize the state of the game and then give another, uh, have another piece into the game and so on. So there are a lot of very small uh, steps that you have to follow. So in order to solve the big problem, you have to split it into, you have to identify these steps and then solve each of them or be clear about how you're gonna solve each of them and then think about how, you, how you're gonna combine them to solve the big problem. Again, whatever you do, don't get discouraged. It's normal. You're gonna get to a point maybe where you're stuck, you don't know what the next step is, especially if it's a problem that you're not familiar with. Or maybe you don't know the algorithm of, you're trying to learn a new thing. And it's very normal to uh, take a long time to solve problems. And that's actually gonna help you solve harder problems if you take the time to actually uh, think about the solution and solve it, in contrast to asking right away and getting the solution to it that's a very good learning experience. So yeah, that's the first step that you can do in order to solve a problem. Identify the steps and then solve each of them and then combine everything together. For example, um, you have this Tetris game and you have to figure out first, well, how do I store a piece? Or maybe you can have a simplified version of the game where you don't actually need to store every coordinate of the piece, like the piece has a lot of tiny squares. Maybe you don't want to do that and first you're just trying to have each piece be a little square and each piece have a coordinate and then uh, know that the state of the game, like the, the, place, the positions of the pieces that have already fallen on the ground can be a vector, a matrix, or whatever you want. If you don't know what a vector or a matrix is, it's fine. Just go on WellCode and learn about it. Uh, you're gonna find the link in the description. You have a, basically a list of tasks that you're trying to achieve, and at each step you can combine two or three of them to get a mini version of the game that you can maybe test to see if it works. Like test if the piece can fall to the ground and then test if I can have a state with all the pieces that have fallen and so on. And once again, before I end this video, I, I can't stress this enough. Just don't, don't panic. Don't stress about not knowing a solution to a problem that's totally fine. That's actually the process of learning and it's very normal to get stuck, to not know stuff, to have to figure things out on your own. And uh, that helps you grow a lot. It's the way in which you develop this logical way of thinking. And a lot of times, maybe in school, even we are used to uh, somebody handing out the solution on a plate and you're like, okay, now I can remember this and I can use it. 
in the future, but you're not necessarily forcing yourself to come up with new solutions, which is the creative process of coming up with new solutions to problems, which is the very uh, cool part of uh, being a programmer. So I don't want you to miss that <laughs> because you're scared. It's basically in those times where you don't know how to solve a problem, that's really when you gather those skills that will help you in your career to not be like everyone else, but to stand out and do your own things and uh, be creative about your project. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to like it. That way you're gonna help us reach more people and share it with your friends if they want to get into coding and they want to start learning. Um, tell them about WellCode and tell them to subscribe. Okay, see you next time, bye.